Hey everyone, Tom here from Tom's AWI Review. So this is a quick review, hopefully, of the Renegro Limited American Church. Um, so a couple of things. I had this thing based for a long time, and I had it like you know assembled and based, uh, and I hadn't gotten around to painting it. And this week I was like, you know what? Finally done with all of the Warlord Games um, Liberty or Death box set terrain pieces, and I have some free time, so I'm going to paint it all and base it and hopefully it'll turn out okay. My biggest concern was the uh, the, pla uh, the um, poster board that I used as a basing material. This is before I realized that poster board warps. However, that said, and I'll just give you a quick look here, uh, you can see that this did not warp like at all. It looks really, really flush with the table. This part is my fault for cutting it incorrectly. But uh, you can see the back is totally flush with the table, and it looks like it's supposed to look um, flush against the table. And the only reason this looks a little dark here on the edges is because it's it's a little high as opposed to being, you know, shaved off to uh, like a, like a almost like a flush a flush appearance. It's kind of cut this way as opposed to you know a long way. Um, so anyway, yeah. Uh, you'll notice also that when I put this together, I added a whole bunch of knickknacks and bits and pieces from sprues to kind of give it personality. I got sniper's perch right there, and then I've got drum and a hat and, you know, a sword and, you know, muskets on the side and tomahawk and a powder horn and possible's bag. So I kind of wanted to make this look like it belonged in a camp or like on the battlefield and it's being used and utilized and not just a stagnant piece of terrain that has no personality or it looks like it doesn't belong. Um, now there's a reason why I went with muskets and things like that, you know, as opposed to like more civilian things like, you know, barrels or whatever. Uh, there is a um, Reverend, uh, Reverend Henry Muhlenberg uh, wrote in 1777 that Pennsylvania militia had kind of taken over a church and trap. Uh, and by take it over, I mean that he was talking about, um, you know, manure and straw being tracked in on the floors and like the pews and everything. And the altar was filled with people. And there was a guy playing the organ and singing and everyone was accompanying him. And there were guns in, in the church and everyone was just, just making a mess, basically. Just totally disorganized, chaotic disrespectful, all that stuff, right? So he was really upset about this, and he was writing about it. Uh, and of course, during the time, the Pennsylvania militia were all drafted men. Uh, they were not volunteers, as is commonly believed. They were drafted, and so they didn't want to be there. Likely the church um, was... Uh, it, the men in the church probably didn't ascribe to the religious views of that particular denomination, so maybe they were, maybe they were Quakers, or they were uh, Moravians, or whatever, and the, the militia that were in, inhabiting the church might have been, uh, you know, pro, uh, Protestants of some denomination, like uh, Lutherans, or, um, you know, they, they could have also been Reformed, and maybe they didn't care whether or not they damaged this church or not. I mean, that's my guess as to why they would do that, because most people at the time, uh, especially Germans, were very reverent uh, towards a particular religious affiliation. So this seems to me like a result of, of you know, religious, anti-religious hijinks of a particular denomination against another. That said, um, this is a representation of what I would think something like, like that would look like, where you have, you know, debris outside and people just leaving their stuff all over the place and not really caring that it's a church and kind of just using it as like a makeshift barracks almost. So that's what I did with this. I think it turned out well. I think it represents that point fairly well and if I hadn't said it if I hadn't raised that quote or talked about Muhlenberg's uh, experiences you would probably still get the feel that this belongs in a camp I hope anyway and um, so that's what I did and I think it turned out like I said it turned out well uh, I'm not happy with the color of the roof tiles I think they're a little too orange um, I was kind of going for this color and I think I put in a little bit too much of the yellow color that I was using to kind of get this color. I didn't get the mixture right because you'll see that I did it. It did it for both of these on the side here and then for this one. But you know what? It kind of makes it stand out. Um, 
it almost looks kind of like a Roman Catholic church and they would find in like, you know, Spanish missions, I guess, would be the best explanation for that. But I mean, for all intents and purposes, it serves it serves what it's supposed to be serving as and it'll, it'll make for an interesting piece on the table. It'll be easily identifiable. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with Rene Dreyer Limited's product here. Um, I'm, it was a little kind of weird putting together. You'll notice that the roof, I mean, the, the bell tower part is not centered necessarily on this part. And I think that has to do with probably my own incompetence when I was assembling this. But I think there's also, this, it was a kind of a little sketchy kind of putting some of the pieces together. Um, I, I might not have cut it as thoroughly, as, you know, to kind of get it to that, um, kind of perfect angle that I was going for but you know hopefully those of you out there who have also put this together have had different results and you know haven't had a problem with it maybe it was just my piece maybe I had like a lemon box or something like that you know so anyway I hope you enjoy this quick uh review of the product I hope you like the finished product um you know not one of my all-time best paint jobs ever uh to be quite honest but uh it definitely turned out better than i thought it would and i think the knickknacks do give it some personality and i think the basing is probably the best part of this entire project here so let me know in the comments what you think like it if you like it if you don't like it you know blame somebody else i'm happy with that so anyway guys have a good one